very vicar. You might have seen people disguised as vicars. Oh, they're gone stag right. But you never think he's a real one. He's not a real guy, he's a mobile. You can text him. <laughs> <laughs> who here has ever genuine question? Who here has ever texted a vicar? <laughs> <laughs> the tech is pretty much is a major problem, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to have to busk at the show. But we're going to have fun. Uh, nothing. I don't think we're going to have fun. <laughs> if they can't find it. No, we're going to have fun. Well, most people here don't know what it is, so if they can't see the tweets, then the show just... No, 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 we're going to see the tweets. The tweets we've got down. That's ready. OK, well, let's it's see. It's just, you know, we're not live. Fine. But we're not live, we're gonna have a great but we'll show. still have fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Has anyone ever WhatsApped a vicar? <laughs> it's not going to be more people, it'll be fewer, if anything. Here you are. You think, right, this is the first interactive bit. You think about how good it would feel to make a friend, an ally. What people often do in these situations is use small talk. And one small talk tactic is to ask a question. What might be a good question to make someone here love you? Uh, the first Twitter poll. Your options are, what about this weather? Are you nice? <laughs> are you asthmatic? Or do you like your cousins? <laughs> what about this weather? Are you nice? Are you asthmatic? Do you like your cousins? You have four minutes to vote. If you have a Twitter account, uh, and if, if you've got a Twitter account, uh, all you have to do is follow at Mark Watson Co. In the meanwhile, uh, we'll... Uh, Quite a lot of support for cousins down here. Instinctively, what do you feel? Who reckons the weather would be a good starting point for small talk? No. Hardly any. Are you nice? Yes. Who thinks asthma might be a good starting point? And how many people are in favour of asking about the relationship with your cousins? Okay. Well, again, if you have a phone and you can vote, vote now. There, it says nine votes on there, but the votes are always slightly behind the screen. Uh, Fine, fine, yeah. Uh, vote whatever you want. In order for the results to come up, man, it's going to have to... What will happen is... Cousins! Well, 
Alex. When, um, <laughs> when one of these things wins the poll, it will automatically go on to the next choice. Uh, every choice that you make is like choose your own adventure. Every, uh, uh, every poll that you vote in affects. Today you can see the current result. There are now 100, already 116 votes, um, which can only mean that some people are voting from home, following it on Twitter, even though they can't watch the actual show. <laughs> At the moment, a clear lead for do you like your cousins? Uh, do pay attention to what you vote for because um, whatever you do vote for, you're going to have to you're going to have to do it in a moment. <laughs> Two minutes to go. It's gone back down to 81 votes, which means that uh, either something's wrong with Twitter or 40 people have cancelled their votes, which uh, I think we all wish is something that could happen in general elections. <laughs> Uh, as, we, uh, as we wait for the results to filter through, I'm just going to walk uh, through the church to uh, greet some of you at the back. Thank you very much for your questions. Even if you don't have a good time for the rest of the time, uh, the light through that stained glass window is magnificent. <laughs> You've got to hand it to God. Imagine building this. Imagine building this and then making the bloody sun as well <laughs> and lining the sun with the glass. You can say what you like about God, but it's a good effort. <laughs> and you might say God didn't build all this. People did it. Our uh, church is a monument not to some divine being, but to our human ingenuity. But who made humans? God! <laughs> just, uh, again, we're only here because of the vicar's permission, so I have to do most of the show. It has to be Christian. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're down to, yes, we're down to one minute left. We'll see what the result is. It already looks like, do you like your cousins, is going to win. Um, there was now going to be a bit in which you interacted with the people on the live stream, but again, live streams are working. So all the interactions will be uh, contained within this church. If it feels as if I keep drifting down there, because I'm very stressed, and I know for a fact how much wine I've got down there. <laughs> <laughs> of course it began the day as water. <laughs> <laughs> Something. He made beer into iron brew or, or something. Um, the Bible only tells us about the drinks experiments that were recorded. The guy was doing all sorts with milk, but it just didn't make it in. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter arrived literally three minutes before, like, from London before this started. Imagine this being your dad. <laughs> Almost certainly have tea later. <laughs> Provider. <laughs> the only two people to have left so far, to be absolutely fair to them, should have left as soon as they realised what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> the phrase faces like thunder barely covers it. <laughs> Christ almighty. I couldn't wait for them to fuck off. <laughs> In terms of the spectrum of uh, emotions that are here, there's, I don't really know what's going on, but I'm prepared to give it the benefit of the doubt, many of you. There's, I was always committed to this, some of you. And then there was, I, I wish that the world had never come to exist. <laughs> uh, uh, they will ask for refunds. But the good thing is, I'm loaded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It, I do have 14 pounds, that's how much it will cost. <laughs> Right, the final vote, amazingly, 157 votes. Well, actually, not amazingly, because normally a couple of hundred people play this online, and many of them still will be playing, even though uh, they can't see the event. By a huge margin, then, you've decided to use the uh, famous small talk opener, Do You Like Your Cousins? Uh, we'll see what that uh, means for the story. You've made your choice. You're going to unleash your small talk cannons. If you're in the room, right, if you're in the room, everyone is in the room, you now need to find someone who is currently unknown to you and say the phrase, do you like your cousins, to them. If online, the idea was the online audience had to text it to a random person in their address book. Um, <laughs> which would have been funny, but 
uh, like lots of things could have happened in life. <laughs> However, you also have a completely reasonable fear of exposing yourself, of being known. So if someone asks you one of the small talk questions, you will resolve to lie in your answer. So, there is your task. You must find someone you don't know in this room and ask how they feel about their cousins. But if you are asked how you feel about your cousins, you must lie. You have, I'd say, one minute. Go for it. <laughs> Do you like your cousins? I don't know them. <laughs> Talk to go. 30 seconds of cousins. Remember to lie in your answer. Do you like your cousins? Really? Terrible. Terrible. I hate you too. Give a distance. <laughs> Do you like your cousins? Yes. It's a warm-up exercise, but we're nearly an hour in. Cool. <laughs> well, you've done some work. You've put yourself out there. You've bonded with at least one person. The company's CEO goes back onto the stage. You feel yourself tingle at the sight of him. Oh, I forgot I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was taking that out. <laughs> the company does serious, important work, he says, with his clever mouth. <laughs> But there's always room for fun as well. And we're going to have some fun now. Oh, God. I don't know how much fun this is going to be, actually. I, I know it would. No, I, this could be quite fun. Um, put your hands in the air if you like fun. He roars coercively. <laughs> I, me, I'll say it. I love fun. I love fun and I love texting a vicar. <laughs> Serious, important work, you think. Are you going to hear more about what the work actually is today? Are all the people around you also being sent on missions and almost inadvertently averting disasters? Is there more to it? You need answers. But this isn't BBC Four for a brief moment in the 2010s. <laughs> Maybe it will come back. <laughs> the eccentric CEO is twisting about like a puppy on the neck. All right, we're going to have a treasure hunt. I need 14 captains. He's recruiting, well we haven't in fact, we're now going to recruit four people, one for each chunk of the room, or room chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Broadly speaking, the, the first room chunk is here, the second one is there, and then one at the back. And you can imagine the room as four quarters. God doesn't have to imagine that. He, he's looking from above. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to nominate, now this is going to have to be played slightly differently because the absence of a live stream, but play it, we nonetheless will. We need basically one team captain from this front section left, as I look at it, back section left, front section right, back section right. We vote here. Yeah, hair. Uh, people of the audience, hair represents this room. Down here. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Louis! Yeah, we will avoid things to be as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Carol. 
sorry. I won't lie to you. I've been dealing with I've been dealing with room chunks for years, and that's one of the most reticent room chunks I've seen. <laughs> but if Caroline brings home the jewelry, let's see them. Let's see what happens then. Okay, this is how the treasure hunt will work. Uh, okay, I've hidden the treasure in one of the famous four parts of God's house: the pulpit, the choir stalls, the pews, the bit at the back. <laughs> Those members of the company who are not present are going to be given the location and will then vote on where you should look. So this is all irrelevant now. What's going to happen is the people watching the live stream would be given the correct answer and would have to choose whether to tell the truth or to lie to you the best. But that element has been removed. It's now a, a straight decision. Each one of you basically gets to choose one of the four famous uh, offices of state. Uh, the, down here, and the treasure, of course, is unspecified, but you will know it when you see it. Uh, <laughs> so, right, okay, so, uh, yeah, basically, I don't know, there's not really a fair way of, uh, yeah. Sorry? You all want more? Okay. Bit at the back. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Any support for bit at the back? <laughs> Right, your room chunk has gone for a bit at the back. Woo! Peter's gone for pole. Yeah! 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 Choir stalls and pews. Which room chunk is having the choir stalls? Choir stalls. Choir stalls for Caroline, which leaves Dan basically to look up across the whole of the rest of the church. <laughs> However, this bit of the rubric still is relevant. They may choose to protect you. Because after all, not all that glitters is gold. Some things that glitter. <laughs> Also, you sometimes get gold that doesn't glitter. Probably. What I'm saying is, be a bit careful here. In other words, do you even want to find the treasure? <laughs> Fine. Right. Uh, people, uh, seekers, enter your uh, territories! <laughs> in there for 20 minutes, but it's been an hour, it's fine. <laughs> I, um, uh, this room chunk wins the treasure, and the treasure is my other uh, poorly cared for kid. <laughs> uh, also, <laughs> sorry. We have honey. Found treasure which was not planted there by me. Is it honey? Honey! Louis, uh, Louis found the honey. By the honey, I mean some honey. <laughs> who, who put the honey there? Oh, God. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's all milk and honey with that guy. That's for you, Nick. Um, <laughs> Now, the thing is, it's all very well having found this human treasure, but this guy was in the murder mystery episode only last month. He was exonerated, but he is still related to the thwarted killer, his sister. <laughs> <laughs> you have a strange feeling in your guts as the human treasure is paraded. Sure, it's a cute kid, a cute gesture, but you're the only one in this room who knows who he is, the brother of a thwarted killer. And it was a great thwart, one of your finest thwarts. You thwarted hell out of that kid. You never expected to see them again once you'd escaped Somerset. What in the name of saints is he doing here? Is this a setup? Is he or she in the employ of the company? Was the entire murder a setup to test you? Is everything a test? But the creepy stranger was dead for real. You looked into his glassy eyes. Dead as Moses, or as the craze for saying, simples. <laughs> Some of you don't even remember that. If you don't remember the meerkats, you're so fucking lucky. 
<laughs> that just should never have happened. It should never have had the choke hold on our consciousness. It did. Your mind is racing, your stomach is sloshing, your various bits are in ferment. There's no time to seize hold of things. The CEO is up to his rabble rousing tricks again. One of the things we like to do on these away days is to find out a little bit about our employees. Or, as we prefer to call them, fuckstar. <laughs> Over the t Again, I did forget that was there. Um, <laughs> over the time to come, we're going to ask some questions. We're going to probe. We're going to tickle a little bit. Any leader will tell you, when you've got a business, you need to know who the tallest people are, right the way down to the shortest. <laughs> <laughs> so every year we organise ourselves in... Oh, I didn't think there'd be this many people. <laughs> every year we organise ourselves in... Organise ourselves a single line of people in height order. Oh, stop. As you watch in bafflement, the other employees, who have clearly been expecting it, begin to compare heights. Meanwhile, the people watching online, well, again, they're dead to us. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> we were expecting more like 50 people. I, um, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just do your best, Alex. I, um, I think probably we need to find the tallest... I mean, the best way is, does anyone reckon they're the tallest person? If someone's obviously the tallest person, we know who the smallest person is. It's my daughter. We've just got to join the, the, the dots between those two holes. Anyone... OK, anyone tall... This is Chris. Anyone taller than six foot one? Yes, how tall are you, sir? Six four. Six four is the bench. Oh. Yeah. If you come up here, yes, Richard. Yes, Richard. Richard Osman, tall. This guy called Richard, tall. Coincidence? Yeah. All I'm saying is, if you want your kids to grow up short, don't be calling them Richard. Okay. So what I think we'll do is, Richard. Yeah, actually, maybe it's a case if we start there and we go round, like all the way round, ending with the shortest person oh. here. So, there's a, the, the, the way to do this is the easiest way in the world, basically. You've got, I'd say, three minutes to organise yourselves into perfect height. <laughs> uh, Nick, thoughts so far? Uh, well, I, I like the God references, there's plenty of that, and that's what we paid him for. The shortest person is here, the tallest person is in that corner, everyone else is somewhere in between. I have to say, this is quite good actually by you. I don't think this was a great idea. <laughs> Alex, I don't think my life has been a great idea. With the naked eye, no one is obviously out of place, but does anyone think that they are either over tall or over small in the, in the order of things? A reminder, the tallest man here is Richard, and the smallest human rose is here. It's, it's actually, and I, I, with apologies to the church itself, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and by the way, there was no point to all that. Um, <laughs> I just really wanted to see if this many people could organise themselves in tight order. Also, not me, the CEO wanted to. It's one of these bonding exercises that you have. Just, I mean, I reckon it's, it's almost unimpeachable. There's a couple of, There's a couple that are maybe marginal, but I don't think... There's no one there who's obviously sticking out. There's no one who's... I guess people could be shorter than I just can't see them. As, <laughs> Well, the, famously, the thing about short people, the buggers can get away with anything. <laughs> Hitler, short. <laughs> Elon Musk, I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is an outstanding effort. Um, OK, well, I'm back on this, I suppose. I'm, I'm, apologies if you've not been able to hear. I've been shouting as I could. We now, the, I will now be able to use the mic and just about it, see the screen. Good stuff, good stuff. The CEO claps his hands. He doesn't, though. <laughs> hands are holding things. Oh, hang on. Claps his hands, licks his lips, slaps his cheeks surprisingly hard. I... That's horrible. Uh, congratulations to the tallest person, he says. Commiserations to the shortest. <laughs> but now it's time to celebrate something else. Right, uh, you can go back to your seats. Well done on your short and tallness. I mean... Good luck, Richard. 
Congratulations, Richard. You were so tall out there, Richard. This is so quiet. They're moving so quietly. So quietly. So respectfully. Stealthily. They're a good workforce. I'll be like, I know where my team is. Not everyone behaves like you are. Well done, everyone. That was the, one of the best tall to short lines I've seen done at short notice. No pun intended. What's next? Oh, yeah, I remember what's next. Now it's time to celebrate something else. He lets off a party popper. I've not got a party popper. Even though you know he hates them, uh, along with anything else that makes an unexpected noise. Fireworks, car horns, thunder, Britain's biggest killer. But you guess that's just how much this fun this guy is. So it's the moment you've been waiting for. Employee of the year. Chorus several people. Sorry, I've, it says chorus several people. I was going to prime some people to do that, but we've not done that. So we'll try again. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Employee of the year. Chorus several people, obviously veterans. <laughs> And as ever, says the CEO, we'll be choosing the winner not by who's worked hardest, been most successful, but by who has worn the best thing to the away day. <laughs> Everything else is disregarded and might as well not have happened. Uh, we are as ever going to nominate, once again, one candidate from each room chunk. So, if anyone near you is wearing uh, Ooh, a... Ooh, What are we pointing here? Berry is fun. A couple of berries. It's more than a dish, it's a crock pot. But in the back of the room chunks, are there, is there anything approaching distinctive headwear or more clothes? If not, feel free to put the end. Berry! I'm happily put a berry on the wall. Towel! <laughs> My guy came from the beach. He's put them on a towel. Normally it's to be taking off the rest of your clothes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not in God's house. <laughs> you can't wear anything out. This isn't any ordinary shirt. This is a sexy shirt. Oh. <laughs> Use God's towel when we get to the other And then, the famous quiet but supportive room jumping back there. Five tallest here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a, it's a, yes, it's a tiny Groot on his shoulder. Um, what's your name, sir? Andy. It doesn't really matter. Your name is Groot. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I said it's a case of towel, crock pot, fez, and Groot. The old dilemma. Um, yeah, the four of them all look absolutely right. The four of them all look absolutely ideal. I think we. <laughs> yes. There's no getting away from it. Your eyes are popping out of your head. You do all sorts to the whole quartet. But one of them is going to have to win, and it goes to a vote. And it, by magic, the candidates are already in there. So you now choose between Fez, or rather Fez, 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 Pot Pot Hat Lady, Towel Boy, and Andrew Williams. <laughs> His name has presumably been leaked to the poll administrator. <laughs> is that your name? It is. There you go. I told you the company knows everything, yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you can try the pot pot. Crockpot's got an early lead, but uh, Andrew oh. Williams is breathing down Crockpot's neck. <laughs> if I may use that phrase, and I think I have to in the circumstances. <laughs> yeah, remember some people online are voting on this without having seen any of these four people. It's, it's something of a randomising factor. <laughs> of course the Crockpot's counting 
and it, the clock plot has cropped up in a previous episode. I mean, not this specific one, but just the notion of a clock plot. Uh, so it would be surprising the way if this didn't win, but uh, just to tell you at this point, I don't know if this is a poll you want to win. Uh, <laughs> Where did you, um, where, where and when did you get the clock from? Uh, charity shop, just up the road. Just up the road. Yeah. Four ninety nine. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't really put a price on what this is going to do for your profile either. Uh, <laughs> you might as well rip up your birth certificate. You are now clock pot lady. <laughs> clock pot hat lady. A four ninety nine. Um, well, the, the uh, first two minutes. Well, as always, this always happens on the official website. The poll, the numbers go up and down. There you are, that's more accurate, although that's, that's a while ago. We'll have more than 68 votes now. Again, clock clock with the lead, that's refreshed. So those looks like the current scores, and it looks like basically a two horse race between clock clock hat lady and this man, Andrew Williams. Which <laughs> <laughs> is a man with a thing on his shoulder. <laughs> and again, if you're watching on Twitter, you don't even know what, like, who Andrew Williams is. So. <laughs> Commanded a remarkable share of the vote given me. There is no visual description of what he's doing. Oh, oh, they will. The name of Andrew Williams will live beyond this event. Don't worry about that. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel a bit sorry for Tal Boy, if I'm honest. I, uh, I know. It depends what you're going to reveal, I suppose. Jeans, uh, jeans, jeans. Yeah. I've seen more dramatic strippings off of a towel than that. Thank you for, uh, for posting a uh, picture. Um, a worthy winner for sure. The CEO 
CEO hands out the Employee of the Year laurels to the delighted worker and a cheque for 50000 I'll give you that later. <laughs> And as always, he says, the women will now stay in the pulpit for us to stare at. <laughs> uh, Rachel remains there for the duration of the show. <laughs> Rachel is the crockpot hat wearing winner of Employee of the Year. There's a bean bag in there. Uh, but it's not exactly. But if you would you like it? Would you like a chair? In your position, I'd like a chair. Yeah. But <laughs> like, well, there's chairs down there. Yeah. Or if you want, just sit on the steps. Yeah. We're not actually going to stare at you all, but at the same time, it will be hard to forget you're there. <laughs> on we go. But look, and his tone changes. Note to self: change tone. <laughs> Without darkness, there could be no light. Without dingy, there could be no bright. Without TV, there could be no Matthew Wright, although he has done radio too. <laughs> and so I now have to point the spotlight on someone who has behaved in a way which contravenes some of the core values of the company. You feel a whispering, yeah, you're right to make that noise. You feel a whispering unease like a cold wind blowing through your downstairs area. Oh. <laughs> it's come to our attention that one person here has, in their life before the company, used recreational drugs. Now drugs, I'm sorry, are bad news. They wreck lives. Worse than that, it's naughty to happen. <laughs> I'm going to give the person here a chance to own up, says the CEO. You can feel people muttering, eyeing each other, and you remember that party 25 years ago. You had a single drag on a joint, 10 seconds of the green herd. You didn't inhale, you didn't even look at it. You had your eyes shut throughout, you flushed the joint down the toilet, controversially as it was someone else's. <laughs> Brushed your teeth for the rest of the day. Can this be what the troubled, charismatic CEO is referring to? Is there no one else in this room who has ever partaken in recreational fun makers? Maybe not with stars. After all, what do you really know about any of the people here? Deliberate no question mark there. This is rhetorical. <laughs> the CEO is still talking in his frenetic, alluring way. Everyone here is brave. Even to be doing what you're doing, you're all lions, or lionesses, or prefer not to say. And so, I'm going to count on the culprit to be bold. You feel as sweaty as a dry slope skier in all their equipment. I've been dry slope skiing once. You're so hot, it's horrible, and it's not even snow. Also, I hurt my hand. But also, I look like I should be skiing in any capacity. I was 10. 33 years clean from skiing, me. <laughs> if, you could put your, if you put your hand up, you could be a hero. Or you could be thrown out of the company, this job which you love, even though you don't know what it is, and it's awful. <laughs> I just want one word, says the suddenly puritanical CEO, raising a finger to the heavens, but weirdly doing both hands so it doesn't work, but I can only do one hand anyway. <laughs> I want one of you to shout out one word for the drug you took, and we can move on. You wonder if you just blurt it out. Maybe you could use a slightly euphemistic word for cannabis. You could shout another thing altogether as a decoy. Or you could just keep it buttoned and hope someone else pipes up. It's poll time again. You feel your future at the company flashing before you. <laughs> would that even be a bad thing? You take a breath and... So you now have the option of shouting, Help! Wacky backy! Crystal meth! Or saying nothing at all. Keep your mouth shut. Once again, vote now. Meth. There is a right answer here, and the wrong answer could land you in difficulties. <laughs> wacky backy. <laughs> wacky backy, crystal meth, or keep completely silent. And I think we'll have Matt. I think we'll have some drug <laughs> confession dilemma music, if you don't mind. <laughs> yes, they're all in capitals, the drugs, because it's been observed before that if there's just one in capitals, people call it. Drug dilemma, drug dilemma. Are you an honest or a dishonest fella or fella? S or prefer just not to sing? <laughs> drug dilemma, drug quandary. Will you go to jail? Will it all be fine? And so on. It's about three minutes of the song. Do we have any early, uh, early results? Still quite a number of you here. <laughs> 
I do that in every show about this point. <laughs> oh, look at this, it's tight. Um, there's some support for crystal meth, there's some support for wacky backy, not much for him. But the majority of people just want to remain silent and hope that someone else shouts something out. Might work, might not. Uh, there is a, as I said, there is a right answer, and there's been a clue, it wasn't an easy clue, but it was gettable. Uh, I'll say no more than that. Um, occasionally these puzzles are clue based. Are you trying to stream it? Yes. I just noticed you've been on your phone for like so much. Well, yeah, I'm just pointing out people on the live stream. Let's go. We do have 41 people on the live stream, and one of them is Holly's grandmother. Has <laughs> <laughs> she, she been up to speak no. with the country so far? No. I said this is maybe an odd instruction for your grandmother. I, um... <laughs> hi, Holly's Grand! <laughs> Everyone say, hi, Holly's Grand! Hi, Holly's Grand! And a reminder, because we're also recording this, that, it, that uh, we will put a full recording out online for the people who would have liked to be here. But of course, if you're watching this, you're, you are watching that recording. <laughs> uh, so I'll rephrase that. A reminder, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you're sorry, not imagining this. <laughs> what you can't see is the, uh... The figure of Alex Preston, baseball capped as always, cross-legged as always, even in bed, <laughs> uh, faithfully capturing this. It's true. Um, yeah, he Alex, it's, it's probably time once again to pay tribute to Alex, who's been up and down like a blue arse tonight. I mean, I'm the reason that the live stream didn't work, but you know. You also, yes, also coming down, boo Alex for the live stream not working. <laughs> I'll take it. And let's hear it once more for the Vicar, the Reverend Nick Wills. And the star. Nick, Nick, Nick. And uh, let's hear it for the 12 disciples, James. Yeah. Judas. Hey. Yeah. That was a test. There was a lot of woos over here. Proper bad. <laughs> Man. Except he had to do it because Jesus had to be crucified. Otherwise, he wouldn't have redeemed mankind, and the whole thing wouldn't make sense. Sorry? I did not the church. I, you said I did not the church learning. I'm just taking what is clear. Which is that the entire Christian story doesn't work without a body. So God chose Judas. Like, God really fucked like Judas over. I mean, it was impossible for Judas not to do what he did. Um, yeah. He didn't have to take the money. He didn't have to take the money, no. He didn't have to. He may not know this. Judas was paid uh, for betraying Jesus. He got 50 pieces of silver, famous. <laughs> 30, yeah, but 50 in today's money. <laughs> I'm just saying, Reverend, I don't see how Jesus could have done any differently, really. <laughs> right, you've gone for the cow's route. Complete silence. You've decided not to confess to your minor toot the other year. You think of the old adage, better to keep quiet and be thought to fall than to speak out loud in professional recreational drug use. <laughs> You're not at all sure you won't be talking in front of this crowd of people after all, let alone about something this intimate. It was bad enough when you went mad at crafts and seized the mic and started lecturing 5,000 people about the persistent crash on your back. No, nope, you're going to sit this one out. I don't know how many people go to crafts, but they're all mad. <laughs> so that's how it is mutters the charismatic rumpled CEO. The answer was Hemp, by the way. There was a reference to Lionesses. One of the Lionesses was Lauren Hemp, played in the England World Cup losing team just yesterday. <laughs> I, um, there, were also, there were two clues about that the drug ought to come from the uh, names of England, starting over yesterday. It doesn't matter, it just means you're in slightly more trouble with the CEO. And some of you still aren't watching women's football. <laughs> <laughs> Hemp should be a household name. She bossed that semi final. Yesterday, anonymous, but the Spanish had her number. Anyway, we've got time. <laughs> <laughs> Not a nun, just wasn't in the right position. So that's how it is, mutters, etc. He nods, then shakes his head, then does something else. Note to self, improv with an object. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> and there's improv all over this fringe if you like the look of that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it's going to be. Fine. The mood has changed. And now another change of tone. We've had some ups and downs, says the CEO, as if you've been here all day already, which actually you will feel as if you have been. <laughs> and I think we're just about ready for a musical interlude. Please welcome back, move on the quite bad dog. What? 
what had happened now is that uh, the band are going to play a couple of songs which have appeared in previous episodes, be it if you've never heard them before. Uh, well, Rob will introduce them. And uh, they're good at music, actually, these guys. So even if it doesn't, you know, you, you, you probably are ready for something else to be happening. <laughs> also, a surprise guest is coming, but the timings don't work anymore. Cool. <laughs> No, it's not anymore, it isn't, pal. Oh, uh, yeah. Fine, you can have your mic back. <laughs> well, actually, I'll, I'll hand you over to Robert, old oh, Robert and the Quite Bad Dog. Hello, I've lived in lots of different places. That's why my accent's so consistent. <laughs> this song is for everybody that's not ever been kicked in the back by a baby. It's called Your Baby Has Kicked Me in the Back. Dad's in jail We gotta sell the house And I ain't gotta ride no freaking bus now out in life doing crimes and then you fall you fall in love and you, you, you have to stop doing the crimes <laughs> it's called I won't do any more crime I've lived in lots of different places that's why I sound like this <laughs> <laughs> this is called uh, I won't do any more crime one two three five. 
cameras. What gives? As the Americans say. <laughs> What's cooking? As they maybe might say. <laughs> All we want, this is you guys. <laughs> All we want is access, the ringleader is saying. All we want is a little bit of footage. Fucking A, man. <laughs> Test one of his henchmen. This is how they talk in the United States. The CEO looks like a. See how it looks like a lemon in his dick. He's gesturing like a European footballer claiming not to have done a foul. He knows himself to do that finger wipe thing they do. This. You see, you see Italian and Spanish players this all the time. I'm sorry, up a tiny bit now, we missed the Yeah. I don't think we need to chat about this, he's saying. I think you gentlemen should leave the house of God. And if you look around, you will now see a small American camera. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I see you. Why you? But then how often have you wondered that since this began? You're conscious of the eyes, not just of the Americans, but of everyone else in the room coming to roost upon you. Not even just their eyes, their feet and stuff. <laughs> in fact, someone's foot is on you. Get out, get it off! <laughs> now, if you are sitting with someone you are comfortable with, briefly put your foot on them. Thank you. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Yeah. Some of you went for that maybe too quickly. This responsibility shouldn't rest on you. But what will you do? Allow the American film crew to linger and capture what? What do they even want? Is it safer to send them away? It almost feels too much for you. Well, you're going to say one of three things to the Americans. You may stay. You must leave. Stay, but put your cameras off. Or, as always, the fourth option, this is too much for me. If you let them stay, they might reveal something about the company which is important, but do you even want to hear that? If you send them away, there might be hostilities. If you decide this is too much for you, uh, then you've just pushed out, but that's completely understandable. Do we get a cry? There's a cry built in, but as usual, you might skip past it. Oh, no. this is too much for you, isn't it? I can't reveal that for sure. Again, if you're not able to vote because you don't have Twitter, you can attempt to influence people. I tell you what, this room chunk is quieter than it used to be. <laughs> if you had to point the finger at where the casual fans were, it's this room. <laughs> Groot! Oh, Groot. Oh, oh, don't worry. Groot's not going anywhere. Groot is here to stay. And by Groot, of course, I mean Andrew Williams, <laughs> your friend of mine. I was going to suggest a chant of Groot, 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 but I think it's more fun if we chant Andrew Williams. <laughs> Andrew Williams! Andrew Williams! Andrew Williams! Andrew Williams! Andrew Williams! Andrew Williams! How's the, uh, how's the spot? All good, all good. Just worried about this dropping onto the stone and then we have problems. Ah, oh, stone schmoan. <laughs> Wait, no, Nick wouldn't say that. He would say something Jesus-like. Jesus cast the first stone or something. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> Choosing Ooh, not look to. How <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, all those noises and more. I, this is, this, it's so close. So it's, it's, it's split between you may stay and this is too much for me. This is perhaps the closest poll we've had since the fabled uh, Koi Wang poll. <laughs> <laughs> A single vote could decide it could swing it either way here. Um, I know. Oh, it's Oh. It's refreshed. She's right. There's still a minute to go. It, it sort of looks like you may stay, which if you do go for that, I know. It's right, mate. <laughs> This is the clearest cut case of I've seen. <laughs> you should be very crazy. The sun. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you may stay. You're going to invite the camera crew to stay. Or are you? If you well, yeah, it does matter. This one does matter. Actually. I mean, it all matters. Get rid of them, the bastards. I'm doing this. You're right. I mean. <laughs>
No minutes left. Any minute now we'll have a definitive result. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not done yet. She, Mayan's right. It was so as blue when it is done. Uh, what's going to happen soon is there are a couple more twists and then the show will be over. But the dogs still have a couple of songs to play. Um, and there'll be like, <laughs> I mean, I'm using the phrase after show party so lightly here. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you are welcome to stay for as long as you want. Um, except I don't have the authority to say that. The vicar does. <laughs> the vicar himself, of course, is doing God. And God hasn't. Actually, if anything, God has held with the tech. Um, there we go. You've gone for your base day. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good enough for me, says the director. Okay, we're just going to have a little look. Maybe ask some questions. I have a question for you, declares the CEO, and that question is, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> the gasp spreads through the room. <gasps> Not bad, actually. <laughs> That's the rudest word that's ever been uttered in a church, beating the previous record where angry vicar at Easter yelled, Jesus was a right penis. <laughs> also, it wasn't even a question. He spotted that quite early in the joke. Sure, we can leave. There's a documentary, a documentarian disruptor. But there are a couple of things you all need to know. You reflect briefly on how useful the you all convention can be and how British English lacks an equivalent address. <laughs> it's an odd thing to be reflecting on in a moment like this, but you're in a lot of strain here. The company isn't human, says the director. It might seem to have humans in it, but it is serving non-human interests. And this man! He says, so forcefully that stars appear around the word this. <laughs> this man is not a human. Why well, no? <laughs> and I wrote it. <laughs> a silence falls as thick as pate, like those really chunky ones you can get. The American walks out muttering. You're a crockpot lady of emotion. <laughs> And done quite quickly. <laughs> oh, how you doing, Rich? <laughs> you do forget, and you glance around, and then you very much do this. You feel like you need to get out of here, away from this strange away day with its layers of meaning, its shadows and whispers, at least for a bit. Compose yourself, piece the F out, excuse my hair. You tell yourself, let's just go to that bit at the back of the church. We don't actually need to do this. Now, I'll go to the back of the church, but you can just uh, swivel around. Breathe a bit. Do your comforting exercise, the one that gets you off to sleep at night. Who remembers how you do that? <laughs> yes, it's time to play Counting Foxes. Um, I've got a fox themed top, so this is something which your character sometimes does as a, a breathing exercise. Sometimes it gets off to sleep, sometimes it just soothes you. All that's going to happen is for one minute, I'm going to say fox as many times as I want to, you're going to count up how many there are, and if you get it right, we move on. If you don't, it's your own time. The minute starts now. Fox! Fox, fox! Fox! Fox, 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 fox! Fox, fox, fox. I don't have a problem counting these because I've got a weird thing where I auto count things. It has no other application. Fox! Fox, fox, fox. Now, in this bit, you have to hold your nerve. There might not be another one. It's like in a minute silence where like, you think, this is the bit I can't laugh. Fox! Fox, 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 fox. If you've counted 50, then I don't know what the fuck matters with you. <laughs> fox, fox, fox. Anyone timing the minute? <laughs> fox, I know my target number, don't worry about that. Fox, fox. Fox, fox. <laughs> fox, fox. Fox, and we're out. How many foxes? 32. <laughs> Ooh, I heard 39 That's and 32. Amazing. I've heard between 29 and 36, and that, like, I mean, 62. 62. Come on. <laughs> you believe you heard, the, you heard 62 foxes? There's an echo in the church. There's an echo in the church. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that is the best bit so far. I, um, anyone say 33? Yes, plenty of you. That's what I was after. You've passed the fox test. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, fox. Well, you saw it on the screen. 
29 was pretty slim, 62. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're sh oh, it, while this fox thing has been going on, something else has been happening. You're shaken and also excited to see her. In fact, you heard her before you saw her. Francine, Francine, Francine. <laughs> you'd know the voice anywhere. And also, you'd know the person anywhere. <laughs> it's your old friend and colleague, the Francine. <laughs> It feels a lifetime since the Honey Expo, where you chose to go after her, only to lose her because she had to save the life of a billionaire beekeeper. Since then, you haven't seen so much as a skin sour of her. <laughs> Do we have Francine in the room? Francine. <laughs> Just to clarify, Francine was on her phone. Francine. I am she, Francine. <laughs> Francine! <laughs> Francine! <laughs> Francine! She stares at you with her magnificent hair and to a lesser extent eyes. <laughs> <laughs> In those eyes, a mixture of feelings anger, yes, pain, worry, fear. A couple of smaller ones like had to cook risotto and some concerns over parking. <laughs> Very heavily residential around here. What, what are you? I'm here to help you. She says. Uh, but I, I was here to help you at the honey thing too. I've been here trying to tell you all these things all along and maybe it's too late now. I feel like she needs you to say something special, something that cries out, whatever she's thinking, whatever you need her to say. You gaze around the church, the green hymn book stacked at the back, candlesticks. Francine. Francine, you begin. I, I, I feel absolutely... What's the word? What really sums up what you're feeling? This is almost the last part. You have the choice of ashamed, mortified, wretched, and dreadful. Now, I would like you to work together to solve this. Uh, there is a... There has been a clue in the reference to the... Uh, to the things in the church, and there is also a visual clue which your eye has been drawn to a few times, not wanting to get all pitied on you. Ashamed, <laughs> <laughs> mortified, wretched, or dreadful. Let's workshop it. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> yes, that's interesting, isn't it? What do we have up there? Him 209 is up there. Has that been there all the time? Yes. <laughs> Where might we find Him 209? In the green books at the back of the church, yes. Quickly, someone, please leave this signal. <laughs> Go on, Keith. Ah. Ah. It's hard Go on, to find two or nine. <laughs> it's a uh, <laughs> Dreadful! Bring it forward! Bring the hymn forward, man! Bring me the hymn book, oh yeah. <laughs> Please read the, read the hymn. Lo! Completely up. <laughs> I mean, it was just no, it was, it was in capitals. <laughs> and it absolutely stayed in capitals, mate. <laughs> God is here. Let us adore and own how dreadful is this place. Whoa! Dreadful. Not what the fuck is voted for it? Is it too late? Already. Now, of course, the hymn doesn't mean it's dreadful to be in church, although it can be. It means full of dread as in full of awe, the same original word as awesome. It means uh, we are overcome by our respect for God, who, as we said before, is, is some guy. <laughs> when you think he decides the result of every Wimbledon. <laughs> You see players cross themselves after they win. <laughs> just doing that for the fun of it. No. And not just Wimbledon. That's just one example. God decides the opening times of zoos. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's doing all of it. The guy designed The Sims <laughs> based on his own experience of being God. God burned down Notre Dame, weirdly. <laughs>
God decided that Vernon Kay would have an interesting third act in his career. <laughs> and this is just a few examples of what the big guy can do. So I think we should pipe down about God for now. <laughs> right, let's see if this is moving along. Yeah, it's a big lead for dreadful. Oh. Since we learned that that was the right answer. <laughs> One minute left, and then Francine's going to say something which will be important for the rest of the story going forward. And if you want to, uh, you can watch future episodes <laughs> online. They come up every month. If only to sort of think to yourself, did all of that happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, one minute left still. Mary, have you ever texted a vicar? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I'm sorry for this! Like, um, it's a new name. <laughs> you've been this character's support from the outset and you've been treated quite badly. <laughs> but you yeah, deserve to. Now, hopefully, you get a sort of a redemption. Okay. Uh, Thomas. Another disciple? Yeah. Yes, Thomas. <laughs> Can you have Bartholomew? In time, Chris, you can, yes. Uh, there'll be another awkward pause, don't you worry. <laughs> Gotta be a James. What do you know about Thomas, though? Was he completely confident he'd seen the risen Jesus? <laughs> no, nope, the guy had a few doubts doubting Thomas. <laughs> you know this. I love how you had to reiterate it. Well, you, yeah. Well, doubting Thomas is passed into, you know, uh, our lexicon, but maybe you don't know the full story, Alex. When I'm Jesus, pretty confident in it, actually. When Jesus was risen... <laughs> Doubting Thomas. Uh, Thomas was the one disciple who was like, that can't be Jesus, that you can't come back from the dead. And he insisted on touching Jesus' wounds. And when he saw they were real, he said, my Lord and my God, and broke down and wept bitterly, Alex. <laughs> Such a Jesus <laughs> man. He'd really gone down as Doubting Thomas, which is pretty harsh, really. Or maybe it was always called Doubting Thomas, so when Jesus showed up from the dead, he was like, nah, that fucking doubt <laughs> But of course I do. So you want parents, trusting John over there. Confident. Exactly, is it? <laughs> there we are. are you... Oh. Um, you've, you've, you've passed the test, um, and you will be listening to Francine again. You always did know how to get away with things. She says, <laughs> sorry, the chilly gaze melting a little. Not completely, sort of, if you imagine the consistency of a sorbet. <laughs> Is everyone imagining a sorbet? Yes. Okay, yes, can yes. we come on, proceed the other way. Okay, so look, I heard what the American guy said. You wonder why I left the company? It's because that guy... Oh yeah, and she points to the CEO, who's gone pale, but I've been pale for ages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, you're the CEO? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that guy. It's better than it seemed like management material. <laughs> So of one. She hesitates. The company. I think we've heard enough! Roars the possibly non human entrepreneur or monster, whatever the fuck he is. Francine says, with a sinister low chuckle, I think you've done enough. <laughs> uh, the low chuckle. Uh, yeah, you, you're done actually. Uh, people have. This is Francine who looks a lot like Mary O'Connor, who's on the pens at 6 pm. A lot like that. <laughs> Listen, this is all amusing, which isn't something a robot would say. It's quite interesting plotting, which isn't something a robot would appreciate. 
Yeah, it does feel like you're testing a bit much. Look, feel free to test it. What robots and humans have in common is symbols, emojis, shorthands, but a machine can't understand the sentiment behind the emojis, right? If I were truly not in possession of my humanity, I wouldn't be able to mimic emotion. At least, not in a form which would convince you. He snorts, even though he's never been very good at that. <laughs> well, I find that really hard. Some people can just do that. I, find I also can't burp. Don't get time. <laughs> like I've never burped. I just don't. I, I don't understand it. That's fucked. <laughs> that well, I just don't. It just never happens. I, I can get the hiccups, but I just can't sort of push on from there. Um, and you give me shit for not whistling. You can't burp, mate. <laughs> yeah, but it's way better to be able to whistle than burp. I'm not like this fucker can't whistle, and he's taking his high horse. <laughs> So come on, challenge me. Give me an emoji. We'll all replicate it together. This is the final test. And I bet I can do it perfectly. What emoji would you like to challenge this strange figure to produce in his face, in his body? Practice them while you're, doing, while you're voting to get a sense. So you have the option of uh, loving face with hearts all around it, uh, sad, downturned eyes face. A crazy face only used in texts by psychopaths. <laughs> and a hot, stroke, horny face. Oh. Um, there's a clear right answer here. <laughs> think about what you've heard from Francine. Think about what aspect of this person's humanity you would like to test most. Think about what emoji would be most difficult for a robot to purely understand the sensation of. And for the last time tonight, you will vote. And by the way, if you're leaving now because it's really, really late, thank you very much for coming. Yeah, clap for those people. I don't know where they're going. There's no one there. Oh, sorry. It's just—it's just never been like no. Well, you should try it, mate. Like I've, I never—I have never voted. Favorite emoji? Uh, which one? Favorite emoji? Uh, just the number three. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> That's fuck. Favorite emoji? I can't see what they are because the screen's well, yes, generally. Oh, yes. facepalm. I'm very facepalm. Uh, just, 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 just to let you know the emojis. Nick, one more round of applause for Nick, by the way. Um, Where is he? The guy's been amazing, but no, I don't use emojis when I text Nick oh. because Nick has one of these phones where, and I don't like to use the phrase, but they come out green when you text him. <laughs> So I don't think it's an iPhone, so I don't think you can start getting into emojis because they'll come out as uh, just boxes. But I might be wrong. Nick, is yours not an iPhone? Yeah, why, why when I try to iMessage you, do they come out green? Can't afford an iPhone because church stuff doesn't pay until tonight. Once this has put religion back on the map. <laughs> <laughs> You're going, to be, you're going to see some interesting numbers on Sunday, I think, Nick. And there's still a whole event here to come tomorrow, which I'll talk to you through briefly at the end, which is still going to now be able to go ahead after. That's, it's fair to say we've had some difficulties. Um, it's fair to say we've conquered those difficulties. And it's also fair to say, and no one likes to say this phrase, part of the credit goes to Ted Hill, who's still at the back. Ted. A regal wave there from Ted Hill. Yes, the guy might not be the most effective math tutor on the evidence of my daughter, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> no. He's blameless. He's, the guy's blameless. Now, it's... Uh, so it's a... It's a, it's a uh, well, I don't know if the phrase is the right one, but a toss-up between... Um, <laughs> between surrounded by hearts emoji and uh, hot... Stroke, uh, you know, downstairs problem emoji emoji. The um, <laughs> the top one is the right one, of course. If you want to interrogate whether or not someone is human, you need to know whether they're capable of love. And we've already Alex, <laughs> and, and we've already. <laughs> Already, if you've ever had an anxiety about being chased down a church by a much younger man, then, um... I'm having the anxiety dream. You keep turning around. Of course, I keep turning around. I'm not in an Aswad song, mate. Uh, I'm so sorry on the video. It was covered by Ace of Base. I'm just topping my wine up. Yeah. Oh, Ted, get the man some wine.
Get the man some wine. <laughs> he's already here. There's nothing I can do at this point. <laughs> It's Such no good saying it. there's nothing I can do, Ted. Okay. Ask not what you can do for your country. No, it's the other way around. No, can I have some wine? Yes, yeah, that would be... <laughs> ask, ask if you can have some wine. <laughs> Just get yourself a glass and some wine. Uh, so it looks as if you're going to uh, successfully clear... Before we go anywhere, could we thank the man who's actually made all of the BAM stuff happen and most of the stuff? The venue tech over there, Ian! Yeah! which Scottish people do have sometimes. <laughs> Is there, mate? No. Cool. <laughs> As chanting names go, it's over a bit fast. <laughs> Don't give me any more letters. <laughs> but the poll is over. <laughs> and you've gone for the uh, consumed by love hearts emoji. Yes. The face flushed with love, encircled with hearts. You've pieced together what Francine has said, what you felt about the company more and more. Something is not human at the core of this. And the one thing a non-human cannot do is love. Love Francine. But you, you can love her. And maybe she can save you from the company. Or you can save each other. You do the face. You now all have to try to do the face of that emoji. <laughs> Use whatever hands and face you've got. <laughs> 20 seconds of uh, face surrounded by heart emoji. It's not bad to be fair. Don't see you doing it. I don't see you doing much. <laughs> fair enough. Also, uh, this is off topic, but for those it concerns, hi men over there! Some of you have been looking forward to seeing him. <laughs> you, sorry, you can see it hit him like Crip's eye or whatever the other ones of those are. He tries. Oh, he tries. Not just to put it on his face, but to feel it in his soul. But love cannot be faked. It can only be lived. And he cannot live it. You feel you've understood something, or at least the beginning of something, about the company. You already knew it was using AI to send you on missions to prevent things happening. You believe with good motives. Now you have every reason to doubt those motives. What you believe was a benevolent force is starting to feel like an instrument of power. Who's power? Who is behind this? Who is driving it? And why? One thing's for sure, it's not the CEO. He seems to have folded up like a shitty old chair. His body language is floppy and diminished. His hair has fallen out. In the end, we couldn't do that. He is more puzzled than mad. His voice comes out as a rasp. You ain't it. That's too much of a I didn't really like that. You, the away day is over. He growled. And this will be the last away day. The next away day will be in hell. Probably, he adds. Also, he's already said it's the last one, so the next one isn't a meaningful term. Probably, he adds, undermining his position a bit and flouncing out into the bowels of the ancient church. Nick? Uh, how old is the church? Into the bowels of the Victorian church. <laughs> <laughs> Not old at all by Scottish standards. Into the bowels of the new build church. <laughs> and the musicians slowly start to play. At first, you worry it's like the band on board the Titanic. But as it goes on, it comes to feel like a celebration, a wedding, or the opening of a real nice spa. A new beginning. Hope. And that is the end of that. What happens now? Firstly, thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. We have two We've ended up with 
about to say two thirds of the original attendees, which given what has happened is impressive. I, and especially given that many of you came here not with any idea what was going to happen. Uh, quite a few people to thank. Then the, the, the band will play, I keep mentioning the band as if I'm not in it myself, I sort of am, but I also am leaning heavily on the bassist, as you'll have spotted if you are a drummer. Um, the band will then play us out with a couple of uh, familiar favourites from uh, tomorrow. There's another thing happening here. Uh, it's called Church Fest. There's seven hours of it, and it's just this sort of thing happening. But the, unlike this, you don't have any prior knowledge necessary, and there won't be that much reliance on tech either. And, um, but there will still be problems. Um, <laughs> so, we thank various people, the band play out the remaining songs, and then we leave and hope for the best and get on with our lives. Once more, can we thank uh, the magnificent St. Peter's Church, Nick, who runs it. the band will play three more songs and then we'll all just consider what we've learned this evening. Thank you very much for watching the August Sister of the Company.
this was planned as an encore, but in the way bands always do an encore, but then it's obvious they're coming back. So I reckon Matt should just like go slightly over there and then come back. Thank you for that! Exactly right, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is another song. <laughs> okay, you're in luck, mate. Scrap that one, we'll do, we'll do sexy months on it. <laughs> okay, uh, once more, everybody, I've got to say uh, thank you so much on backing vocals and, uh, and guitar. My hand, everybody. <laughs> Ryan McGinnis on the bass! Can't, can't vouch for him. I uh, don't know him. He's good on bass, though. And your friend and mine on the drums. The beat, making this all happen. Mark Watson, everybody! So then I found a different one. 